Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Chip Studio. Today we're going to be looking at 007 Agent Under Fire running on the Dolphin emulator, the GameCube version of this game. I'm going to show you why we need a developmental version and we need to use an experimental feature to get this running smooth and fantastic. I'm going to be showing you my tips and tricks and all my settings and how I get it running fine. So sit back, relax, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's just dive into the video, shall we? So the first thing we need to do is to download the developmental version of Dolphin because we need an experimental feature to get this running smooth and I'll show you why now. So if I load up Agent Under Fire, as you can see, there are scan lines down on all the videos and all the things like that because this uses a VP6 codec which isn't really supported that much anymore, it's an old codec. So I'm going to close that. See, scan lines are on there and the videos don't look very good. Now, it doesn't affect the actual gameplay, so if you can persist with that, then you don't really need to bother as long as you don't really care that all of the cutscenes are going to be um, have scan lines on them down that. If you use the texture filtering, if you use the force texture filtering that's in the settings, then it's going to scramble them even more. And if you use any of the anti-aliasing or the anisotropic filtering settings, then it's going to just look terrible. And one of the things that we have in the developmental version, so when I go to the graphic settings here and go to advanced, you can see there, that's what that looks like. But if I was to download this developmental version, the one that was downloaded, the one that was updated 12 hours ago, so I've already done that here already, and I launched that, it's going to pick up my settings from before because everything's in that dolphin folder there. I go to the graphics section and go to advanced, there are experimental features here. Now in the other one, we only had deferred EFB cache invalidation, but we also have manual texture sampling, which when we click this on, we close it and then we launch agent under fire. The scan lines have disappeared. Now this is again, a experimental feature. And the reason I usually just download the beta version of Dolphin is because it's usually the most stable other than the stable version, which is six or five years old. So what they do is every month they release a new beta version, and that is considered basically the most stable version of Dolphin. In the future, it's going to be there anyway in the beta version. So if you want to wait for that, you can do. But if you want to fix it right now, that's the best way to do it. So as far as the graphics are concerned, I'm using the classic Direct 3D11. Again, this is my personal preference. As it says on the back end, it, each API that it uses, different GPUs react differently to the API. So if you have an AMD uh, graphics card, you can use the Vulkan one and that'll work fine. But I'm using the RTX 3060, so I use Direct 3D11. But if you're having issues with that, OpenGL, as always, is the safest bet on any game. I'm going to force it at 16 by 9 because this game does not support widescreen. Unlike everything or nothing that we played last time, this doesn't have a widescreen mode. I'll force it at 16 by 9 It's going to look a bit squashed and I'll show you why I do this when we get the game going. And I don't use the widescreen hack because the textures all pop out. And I'll show you in the video what I do to mess around with that. anti Anti-aliasing, 8 by 8 times SSAA because my computer can handle it. And 16 times anisotropic filtering once again. And I'll show you when we get the game running why I do that. And then we have here the resolution. I play all my games in 1080p. I could push it to 4K with this one because it is a, uh, a much older game. So it's not going to take that much to run. But I don't have a 4K screen so it's pretty pointless. I just keep everything in 1080p. And once again, I'm using these specialized textures and I'm compiling the shaders before I start to just get rid of a little bit of that stutter. As far as the controller is concerned, I'm using the GameCube controller, standard controller there. So when we click controllers, we get standard controller and I'm configuring it the way I normally do because I'm using the Xbox controller. So if you want to see that, check out the website, winchevystudio.com and you can check out my guide on how to hook up an Xbox One controller to match the GameCube controller. So let's just get this, let's just fire this game up and get it running and we'll see how it plays. So once I've clicked it on, I'm going to whack it in full screen. So it takes up the whole screen. And as you can see, the video's there. Now look at the scan lines. 
and it is absolutely fantastic. So we'll skip that first cutscene, mainly for copyright issues, I reckon. Now there is some stutter in this game every now and again, because it is quite an old game. There is a little line going down the screen as well. So I'm just going to load the mission that I did last time because it's going to be much easier. One of the things you're going to want to do straight away is go to the options and controller setup. You want it at setup three. To setup one uses a weird analog. We've not really mastered analog features by, by now then. Uh, so to move and rotate around, you just use the regular stick and then to strafe was the right analog stick. It's really backwards. So setup three is the best one for this. I'm going to turn the sound down, just this. There we go. Everything sorted there. Let's select the mission and we'll show you the game running. And then I'll go through a couple more. 007. So you see the there's CIA a slight, has come slight to bit of stutter assistance. there. It appears that one of their agents, uh, the Miss Zoe Nightshade, recently it doesn't sent out the game play too much. Since you are already on location, one thing I haven't Kong, managed to do this, this game is to get the to action replay codes friends. working. Because you need a Night memory card. Investigating a botanical Anyone knows how to get that working. Headed by how to get the uh, action Block. replay codes working. The CIA Let me know down in the comments. Because I tried for like three days to get this working. Biological weapons. In Nightshade's last report, she informed us that Identicon was taking considerable so this was one measures of the first to transport James and protect that files kind of, of some unknown story. It was supposed to be a to game one of their for the world is not seen enough. Analyzed. But her mission was compromised. Um, but they didn't, they didn't hit the deadline 007, for that. So the world is not enough came out on PlayStation 1 and they wanted a now separate PlayStation 2 game. But uh, they didn't hit it. Line, so they lost Q quite a lot of the licenses. So a lot of the, a lot of the actors, they don't have the likeness, they don't have the sounds for them. They're all like sound alike actors. So this guy isn't John Cleese. So you can see controller set up, rotate and look around there and strafe. That's what we want on the left analog stick. Let's start this mission. Trouble in Paradise, Hong Kong City. I think James Bond is actually the thing that started off my uh, infatuation with the East. I remember saying in the last video that Tomorrow Never Dies was one of my favourite ones growing up. Now, if you didn't have manual texture filter in on, I'll show you in a second, but this would not be... Uh, Quite stuffy actually. I might have to change a few things to stop the stutter. So this is what I do every time I play one of these games. I load up the first level, have a quick play around, and then I make change the setting on the fly. So I change the oh, that's a full screen. Are here. There appear to be two ways into the building. So you we'll use knock your this down claw to four that times SSA, to sneak in through the ventilation and we'll down to eight or times there. your Q decryptor could open that digital lock. Okay, so I think that's everything we need to do here for now. And we can take, if we take the manual texture sampling off that was on for the videos, as you can see, it doesn't affect the gameplay whatsoever. We can still play the game without those scan lines it's just on the video files so any cutscenes or anything like that that's something i personally can live with when i'm playing a game i don't really uh i can put up with those because i'm only playing this game for nostalgia so i'll watch the cutscenes and it just won't bother me that much but some people it will uh which is why they would want the manual texture sampling on but it does kind of slow down the gameplay a little bit as you saw there when that cutscene was going on we was going down to like 45 frames per second. We had stuttering and things like that. Now, the last time I played this game without the manual texture sampling on, I didn't get any of that. So I think that's why it's still kind of experimental for now. And hopefully they'll fix that in the future and it won't affect the gameplay too much. So we're going to have it four times SSA, eight times and isotropic filtering. Just because we had that little bit of stutter there, drop that down. And then we've got 416 by 9 because this game is a 4 free game at heart. So if I click it to auto, it's going to then make the game 4 free, which is what it was supposed to be back in the day. So, and as you can see, when I'm moving left and right, we're strafing. And this is like a classic, classic first person shooter. Uh, let's head up here. I 
played this level so many times now. Over the past three days, I've been trying to perfect this for this video. Bond. So I played this. I'll try to keep in contact with you. Right. So now I'll show you why I don't use the widescreen hack that much. Oh, should have known that was there. So let's first take out this guard. I've got the golden gun because I played it and I smashed it. Four fists, and then we'll crouch. Bit of stealth, the only bit of stealth. The games usually devolve into just shootouts, which is uh, pretty much how the games were at the start. Now, the reason I don't use that widescreen hack, and I just force it at 16 by nine. So if I click force 16 by nine, that'll make it widescreen. And then when you choose the widescreen hack, that'll bring everything back. So what it does is it's it brings it back to four by three and it uses information from the game to try and fill the textures in. But as you can see, when I move to the left, to the right there, at the left side of the screen, there is something missing, that's textures. So it kind of does take away from the experience. So if you want the game to run 100% smooth, we're gonna want to not have that widescreen hack on because I can see through that wall now. It's kind of a little cheat, but uh, some games the widescreen hack does work fine in filling those gaps in but with this one it doesn't so i don't use it but i do want to play the game in widescreen so if i go to the graphics setting here and then i take that widescreen hack off and i bring it back to auto there that's what the game looks like in four by three so i'll show you that in full screen and we have those black bars around the side but if i click alt enter let's get the Let's get it forced 16 by 9. Now, some games this looks really silly, like in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, it squashes it down. Uh, it doesn't look too great, but with this one, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look, it doesn't look bad at all. Uh, I quite prefer this anyway. So I want to play the game in widescreen anyway. And I don't mind what it looks like squashed. See, I know where everything is because I've played this level a million times. Secure the camera up there, we'll avoid that, and then use that armory key to get a bazooka. Now, these James Bond games are some of my favourites. Obviously, GoldenEye is everybody's favourite. My golden gun, and I got my bazooka. And obviously, GoldenEye is everyone's favourite, but this was the first one I played on PlayStation 2. Uh, with a dual stick controller as well had a fantastic multiplayer and i think the gamecube version was the first one to have actual bots now this is a this looks like it's crashed but it's not this is a told you we'd go straight no stealth anymore one shot kill with a golden gun um so, so that's like a uh, byproduct of old games the loading screens and stuff so in, sometimes it'll just freeze the game and so I think this is because I completed the level. This is to get uh, that 007 thing. They weren't there in the original run through of the game. So I think that's just to encourage you to go back through the game and play it and get everything. Uh, yeah, so those loan issues sometimes the game will freeze and then it'll bring you out into the next section of the Bond. game it's while it loads up the rest of the level. So we need to use the Q laser. I remember these games being fun because. I think it's like 20 gadgets or something like that they said in this. Uh, this is when Bond was all about gadgets and Careful, stuff. The Pierce Brosnan seven. era, which I they mentioned in my Every Friday Nothing video. You can check it out on this channel or you can go to twincherrystudio.com. That guy's just going to wait. Boom. Nope, not one shot kill with that. Shoot it, it's red. Let's see it blow up. It's a great tutorial level. It shows you like all this stuff. If you press, one thing that kind of annoys me about this is like these days when you press the back trigger, it goes ADS. Uh, this, there's no ADS. They've not figured that out. So it's kind of like just a precision shooting thing. But you use the right analog, the left analog stick to move that around. You can't use the right analog stick. So it's so confusing when you're playing. Because uh, usually you just ADS in and you use the right analog stick to move around and you can move while you're ADS, but it just stops you, puts you on the rails. Yeah, so this was the Pierce Brosnan era, one of my favorite eras of James Bond. I do love Daniel Craig, but there's a guy hiding behind there. 
I remember that from the last one. So I'm going to shoot this roll. He's down. Like I said, this game was going to be the game for the world is not enough, but they missed the deadline and kind of lost a lot of licenses. And rather than paying them again, they just like made their own story and kind of made James Bond a bit light. weapon up on the d-pad to change weapon and this is the classic uh, level design of just run down the corridor of people shoot until you get to the bit is that is that lined up yeah it's lined up there's still two bars down the side there that's kind of interesting usually when it's wide screen it takes up the entire screen let's just have a look at the resolution of the graphics tab Hey, why is it 1920 by 1958? It should be 1920 by 1080, surely. Let's see what happens? Is it stretched to window? Let's see what that does. Still black bars down. There's no black bars down the side of the window now. I'm gonna keep it as stretched to window then. I don't know why dolphins work. It might be because it's the experimental, the developmental version. I don't know. But here's another example. See that corridor? We're loading into the next screen and... How did we get here? <laughs> uh, classic level of design. So this game came out in 2001. One, it's got 74 out of 100 on Metacritic. It was Metacritic, Cricket, Metacritic. A lot of people prefer Nightfall to this. But I have like a bit of a special place in my heart for this one the Nightfall. It's like the first one. I'm missing all, I'm missing all these shots. I'm using like an SMG. Let me just try and get a bit closer. Slide cancel like a nutter. The auto aim is the uh, like, like the aim assist. Like if this kind of aim assist was on Warzone, people would be kicking off. Look at this for a snap, 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 snap. Oh, now that's aim assist. I wonder if it's like that in the multiplayer. We'll check that out. I want to try the multiplayer as well. So I'm going to be trying to get Netplay up and running soon. So if you're interested in doing multiplayer Dolphin GameCube using Netplay, stay M, tuned to Twitch. I've located Studio. the vials Nightshade was looking for. Com. Now I just need to find the Nightshade herself. So we go action button. We're going into this and then freeze. That'll bring us to the next one. Yeah, according to Metacritic, Maxim Magazine, which was where everyone went for their game reviews back in the day, Maxim Magazine, I'm going to bring my fists out for this because I remember this bit. There's a sniper, I've got a 007. knockout. We believe the American agent is being held somewhere on the lower levels. Maxim Magazine gave this 3 out of 5 stars. So quite middling reviews for this game. But I remember getting it and just enjoying it. I remember I really, I was a big James Bond fan, always have been. Like I said, Tomorrow Never Dies was a film I watched so much. And then The World Is Not Enough came out, I really enjoyed that one. I don't think I have to sneak up on this guy. Look at the polygon breasts. It's a different time. Wasn't don't it? lie to me. I know you're a spy. There's Pierce now himself. call off your compatriot. Go to hell. Bond's probably gonna bang her. It's 2001. You first enjoy the That's ride. That's just what happened in 2001. Prepare to launch the sub. Bond banged everyone. I was actually such a big James Bond fan at this point because I remember I said I didn't play everything or nothing because of all the other games that came out at the time but like I was a big James Bond mark so let's see if he spots me he doesn't oh yeah he does to launch in five minutes. sniper rifle let's take uh, take some of these bad boys out they're not there yet 
on me. The sniper I was so, so toy. There's no like, like these days, but guns feel, they have a feel to them where like when you shoot them, uh, but this game has been, that sniper I think feels toy. They're on to you, Bond. Find the girl and get out. Yeah, I was such a James Bond mark. Like this came out the same year. You've got to get on that submarine, out, 007. Uh, Halo. But I actually played this game. This game. I went to the James Bond game as well. Final Fantasy X came out as well. I remember playing that. This ball. This also was the year that came out went on to be one of my favourite games of all time. Max Payne destroyed, Max Payne 2 destroyed, I can see that there. I to buy a new graphics card with 256 megabytes of graphics. Until so it came out on Xbox. Headshot. And then 360 no scope for the next person that comes this way. Could be a, let's see, phase sign me up. Oh, no, no scope, no scope. Glad I got that nice number. 360. Trick shot. Missed. 360. Trick shot. Even with the snap, I miss. Oh. Now, this was year Super Smack of his melee came out as well. Oh, am I glad to see you. I'm Please glad to see you. Lock. Yep, it's going to be selling me at the Q laser out. Thank you. Mission complete. This is made on the uh, ID Tech 3 engine as well. The uh, same Quake 3 Arena one. The same one that everyone else has made thank on. You. I'm it's sure like we'll Three years something. before it, so it's not as uh, advanced. But they use that engine a lot. The ID Tech, Tech 3 engine is the basis for like, a lot of Bethesda games now, I think. I'm sure like Doom is, is on like a version of that engine. Those are the ID Tech parts, aren't they? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I've unlocked the multiplayer map for Rocket Manor for getting platinum medal. Ah, nice. Now, with the Dolphin Emulator, there used to be a bug. I'm going to test to see if this is the case. I'm pretty sure that bug's been squashed. But there used to be a bug where after the second level, uh, the game wouldn't load. So if I remember, this is Good the one where uh, driving through the amazing streets bond. of Hong Kong. As you know, your liberation of Nightshade did not go one undetected. Locks men have been all so we can do a 180 spin. So this is the on the rails car one, if I remember correctly. And uh, what used to happen was uh, after this, it, the screen would just go blank and you won't be able to play the game anymore. So I think they fixed that. I really hope they have. I didn't see that when I lived in Hong Kong. The famous Hong Kong City Skyline, 2001 edition. And with some classic like over the top James Bond fighting helicopters, fighter on. jets. Who do you think would win in a fight? Pierce Brosnan, James helicopter. Bond, or Daniel Craig's James Bond? And Daniel Craig's James Bond, towards the end, did fight a lot of the. There's more of them dead took ahead! A helicopter out with an AK. I love how much this does look like Hong Kong. Like, I could tell you where it is in Hong Kong, but this is the. Uh, this is definitely, definitely inspired by Hong Kong. I've been on these highways before. James, in the bus. They're right in front of us. On the bus. It's armored. Aim for the tires. Aim for the tires. Quite advanced, isn't it? I can't aim for the tires because it keeps snapping on the people. To the side of it, look. Left it. Oh, that zoom went wrong. Oh, when you use the right analog stick on this. I'm gonna die here. Get it. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it behind us. the right analog James, stick when you use the right analog stick it zooms in turn really left here zoe right, he's dead no we're 
going through the through the market. Cheers for the ammo. Road box. We're surrounded. She's the red things close to four. Terrible shooting at this. That's just a bit of body armor. That should, that should tide us over. Shooting. So weird using the left hand just into like ABS. Slow down, Zoe. Let's whip out the rocket launcher. Those cars are in the way. Still stuck with some of the explosions. Ouch, that's going to leave a mark. It might just be like emulator itself, or maybe it's the back end. Maybe OpenGL is the way to go. It's that building straight ahead of us, Zoe. That's the Why don't we drop in for a visit? We keep trying everything. On the catwalk ahead! Yeah, I see it. Oh, ahead, ahead. There's another crew on the left. Yeah. Anyone else? Anyone else want to give it a go? It's some shooting. of those uh it's quite impressive when you say that i remember red match was a game that we were playing and being blown away by it's like everything was just and all the shit my health is going down from that smash it lad smash it Zoe, we'll get my car. I wonder if they had any God, devices. God, you never there. ask. Are we going to see like an Aston Martin? Nice of you to join me, 007. Sorry, R. I was. Yeah, see, that was delayed. meant to be John Cleese, but uh. Let's get on with it, shall we? Obviously, after the uh. May I present our new BMW, BMW Z8? So it was the world is not enough. With a few modifications, of course. It's Forward mounted rockets, please, but, uh, retractable machine guns, dual side vent deployed. deployed missiles, titanium armor, so we have a rocket booster concealed bomb. behind the rear license plate, and of course, a refrigerated beverage holder. Hmm. Do I take care of, of this machine, 007. You seem to have no appreciation for the painstaking effort that goes into building this type of equipment. The question is, why don't these guys, like, are they just going to blow up the BMW? Oh no, they hit the limo. And we've lost it again. Is she dead? She's dead, double O. <laughs> Bravo, I shouldn't have laughed at that. Her, but, like, but the assassin has taken like, the vials. Get after dead. them. Isn't she like a main character in the... I don't know. That's <laughs> just the way he's like, she's dead. <laughs> that was great. She's dead. I've unlocked the golden C86, the golden um, rocket launcher. Dangerous pursuits. So we're going to try one of the actual driving ones now. 
007, it's too late for Agent Nightshade, but she needn't have died in vain. It's imperative that you reclaim those vials as quickly as possible. <laughs> was such a, We've intercepted such a their radio transmission. To death. They intend to transfer She's the vials dead. to an armored van for more secure transportation. You must get to that rendezvous before they escape. Should you be unable to prevent the transfer from occurring, you must stop the armored van at all costs. Use caution, however. We need those vials intact. 007, I've airdropped some QLab equipment into your area. They will appear as blips on your radar. The Q pulse is particularly effective in disabling vehicles without damaging their contents. You'll need to get within a few meters of your target and allow adequate charge up time to ensure success. Okay. E brake. X is E brake. Cycle weapon, fire weapon, machine guns. I like that the, uh, the accelerator is on the trigger on this. I remember games back in the day used, used to have the X as go. And the triggers used to be like fire and stuff. I think that's just because the GameCube's built that way. The GameCube controlled that big A button that was just like smashable. So, not for smash. That's why it's perfect for smash brothers. Smash the A. We're going to be doing some driving. The Q branch briefcase that contains the vials is equipped with a locating beacon, 007. I think the handling on the arrow on your radar will enable you to days. track it. Q small. on your radar indicate special modifications I've developed for your vehicle, 007. Use them sparingly, however. I Goodness, 007. Such wanton destruction. The Can't Q branch briefcase contains the vials is equipped with a locating beacon, 007. The arrow on your radar will enable you to track it. Missiles are a bit useless, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do not kill civilians. Okay, which way are we going? Those blips on your radar indicate special modifications I've developed for your vehicle, 007. Use them sparingly, however. Crash the car, bit of stutter. Alright. GTA here, there's like a full city here. It's not just like one way to go. Which way? Oh, no, not that way. Yep, sorry. Sorry. Now, this is like GTA, they just get out of the way. And you can't... Uh, but we've got to find it somehow. Uh, left on the map, maybe? Okay. Left again. There we go, we found it. There's no bad guys, is there? They're just driving. Unless I'm missing something. Bond. Oh, there we the go. The vials have been transferred to that armored van. It is imperative that we recover. Oh, now we've got it. Bond, you were to disable the van without destroying it. Now we have What's no clue as to Block's plans. Return to MI6 immediately. Damn it. The Q branch briefcase that right, contains the vials is equipped with a locating beacon, 007. The arrow on your radar will enable you to track it. So we've got rockets, but we can't use them on the van. Let's try this again. Way. Those blips on your radar indicate special modifications I've developed for your vehicle, use 007. Pulse, use guessing. them sparingly, however. Hamlet's great. GTA 5 had great handling. 4 was one of the oh, I say that as a crash. I think mean, one of the best handling games that I've ever played. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but need to speed up the game. 
be looking at how to get some advanced textures and stuff running for. Lord, there it is. the vials have been transferred to that armored van. It is imperative that we recover them. I like that the map wasn't just like one linear racetrack, it was like the whole city and stuff. Even though there was nothing else to do in that city, but... So there you have it, Agent Under Fire. How it runs on the Dolphin emulator. One of the great James Bond games. Uh, it's not as good as GoldenEye as far as like... GoldenEye was obviously the peak of the James Bond games, but it was this these games I really enjoyed because I was a massive James Bond fan at the time. Uh, may, many thanks to the GoldenEye game as well. That was a, one of the things that got me big into James Bond. I ended up watching all the films. Uh, like I said, Tomorrow Never Dies was... Cons I had that on video on VHS. I don't know if anyone is old enough to remember what a VHS is. Um, I'm going to do what I did last time with everything or nothing because I'm enjoying this. I'm going to play it a little bit more and then maybe I'll do the entire game on a stream somewhere. Uh, so that's how to get it running. That's some of the things I do when I'm setting up Dolphin games. I'm always at my settings on how to do it, especially with the manual texture sampling thing. Uh, if you really want the cutscenes to run smooth, then you're going to want that manual texture sampling. You're going to want that developmental version of Dolphin. I never recommend getting the, Dol the experimental version, but as I've noticed with a couple of these James Bond games, a couple of the old games, um, that manual texture filtering is something that's going to be needed. So hopefully that'll go into the beta version at some point, because um, the developmental versions, they are updated hourly. And that's not something, uh, that's because people are constantly working on this. Like years and years on, people are still working on Dolphin every day, so uh, I do appreciate them. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel if you're still here 38 minutes into the video. Depending on how much I've cut it down, it's probably about 35, 36 minutes into the video. I do appreciate you. Appreciate everything. Check out the website, twinchevystudio.com. Currently, it isn't in the best of shape, but it will be getting updated and it will be getting things added to it as we go along. As we play more and more GameCube games, we're currently on this James Bond uh, theme at the minute. So we're going to be doing nightfall next and then the from russia with love and we're just gonna go through golden eye rogue agent and then i'm gonna move to nintendo wii and attempt to play quantum of solace uh with the motion controls we're gonna try and set that up with the xbox controller fingers crossed i get that working because a lot of people want to know how to do wii games um with the controllers and the motion controls and stuff if i get that working that's going to be a fantastic video um i can't get cheats so many anyone knows how to get the actual replay codes on this I'm going to save it first, actually. That reminds me so that I can just start this from whenever. But if anyone knows how to get the action replay codes working on this, I'd greatly appreciate your help in that. Let me know down in the comments, hit me up, and we'll get in touch with you, and we can figure that out. So let's get, let's just play another level on this before we move the on. The evidence you retrieved in Hong Kong contained nine vials of human blood samples, as well as photographs of the so British Embassy in Romania. So this is the end for you, Romania. remember, don't do anything. Eight of the vials were labelled with the initials of the world's industrial nations. The, the last vial was marked Griffin. I wonder if we're going to move to... The computer database search turned up a man named Reginald Griffin, serving mission? as a British diplomat in Romania. 
Griffin's behavior has been the subject of an internal foreign ministry report. He seems obsessed with protecting a secure room in the embassy, an area normally outside his jurisdiction. We want you to infiltrate Griffin's secure room, I've find out this what one. he's hiding, and I access his computer one. records. We can't because kill. he's a high-level diplomat, this so must there is a bit of stealth in covert this. investigation. We're not sure of the extent of the conspiracy, so trust it's nobody. Exactly Remember cell, too that the guards are not suspected I and may not in be this harmed. On that note, 007, I provided you with a dark gun that will tranquilize but not harm We can't them, shoot them with a tranquilizer. I've also issued you a pair of cube specs on this which one, can be used to see uh, hidden the end doors of it, and hatches. British yeah, there's like a painting. rely heavily on these security measures. There's a painting or some shit. Uh, we're in Romania, the British Embassy. Ah. Uh, if I remember correctly. See, I do these videos as, like, intending to just do, like, the first 20, 30 minutes, but then I get really into the games. I'm in the play, and then... At some point, I'm going to do a Twitch stream of twitch.tv forward slash Twitch Every Studio. I'm going to do a Twitch stream of all these games. Maybe I'll do them in order. So it's like Agent Under Fire, Nightfall, Everything or Nothing, uh, From Russia with Love, followed by. One of my stories. I think that's the order. Oh, GoldenEye Rogue Agent as well. This isn't a great remake of GoldenEye. They swapped Pierce Brosnan out for Daniel Craig. So we've got to take a shot straight away. I don't know. This guy up here. No, no, we don't need to take a thingy. So we're going we're to splinter sell this. I probably fucked up straight away. I probably messed right up here. Get myself in the door. Oh, his body's gone. I was going to say someone's going to see the body, but you know, this is before the. Okay. Now let's jump. We need the Q. No. There's something that Q said. To look at look through doors ah the Q specs there we go yeah so we can see hidden <laughs> it's bunny hop around the corner like it's Call of Duty there he is. Oh. oh messed that messed that up then I yeah <laughs> I didn't realize you could just like Ooh, this is going to be fun for multiplayer, isn't it? If we can get this set up with the boys. I'm trying to convince them to do it, though. It's going to take a while. Let's see. Any special rooms in here? No, nope, but there is an alarm. So I'm glad he didn't pop that. His body's disappeared as well. I swear there's one round here. Nope. Behind the painting, maybe? No. Okay, let's take the elevator up. The lift. Pop around the corner. Got him. And then bunny hop. <laughs> it's Call of Duty. No, we can't go through there, can we? Oh yeah, we can. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is this is the bit where if if you move, if you make noise, someone will come in. It's quite advanced for its time. Bunny hop. Yeah, I swear there's like a secret. It's behind that British flag. That's the exit behind the British flag. But uh, we're not at that stage of the game yet. It's not the name of the game. But I swear there's some like secret stuff in here. I've actually played this on stream before on the... Uh... I remember now. God, my memory's off. If I played this on stream last year or the year before, it's quite hard. So I remember this mission. See so if we move there, we need to try and make it so that we don't make any noise. Don't want to move yeah, we move the glass plates. He's gonna come in. Huh, what was that noise? Wrong game. Snap in, snap in, snap in. Boom! Headshot. Ho ho, we got a laser. Oh, we also got someone over there. It's done. I think there's like a secret panel or something. Yeah, yeah. So if we use the Q specs, we can find the panel and then turn that off. Do we shoot it to turn it off? No. I'm nearly out of darts. Q laser, maybe? Yes. Get some more darts. 
fine. There's a guy here. Yeah. And we got one dart left. Let's get the still not got this inventory down. Let's be Q specs. There we go. There it is. Get the Q laser out. Da da da. Secret door. More darts, please. Thank you. See, I do remember it. I remember Jay was in the stream and he was like, why don't you go this way? And I was like, oh, maybe I will go that way. No entry. Visible door. Because we were trying to find all the uh, secrets. Just give me three more darts. That's a lot. I don't know. At least we know the ID Tech 3 engine that eventually became the Modern Warfare engine at some point. Like, lots and lots of stuff went on before that, but you, know, you still can't get through windows. We're making that joke live on stream. Twin Cherry Studio. Twitch.tv forward slash Twin Cherry Studio. Where we also play Sea of Thieves. Oh, we can get up through there, or we need to do it James Bond style. We can use the claw. Bow. Bedroom, no one around. There's a there's a lady there. She's getting undressed, and I <clears> felt <throat> amazing. The things that we uh, are polygamy, a polygamy woman thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Polygon woman goes all excited in 2001. You're all like, no way, she's sexy. Need a passcode generator. I see now this bit. I don't remember. I remember that she was uh she was very helpful. Or she was on our side or something. She's gonna come out with a robe on or something. Like everyone's like, oh no, she's gonna come out naked and James Bond's gonna bang her. But see, look at that little rock eye that he did there. We got what we need. Let's see what, what classic James Bond witticism are we gonna come out with? Look at those back muscles, man. These are private quarters. Them, Sorry, them, miss. Them I'm with the new security team sent by the home office. I seem to have taken a wrong turn. Indeed. Really? Wow. Shall I show you the way? <laughs> she kicked me straight out. Uh, that's still not the thing we need, is it? Uh, let me get me. Still in stealth mode, I think. Keep that. He's dead. Who killed him? M, I found Griffin. He's been tortured to death. Looks like an interrogation gone bad. <gasps> No, sir. Your eyes don't deceive you. Unfortunately, I am the last thing they will ever see. Are they? Are they really? I'm just gonna take him clean out with one shot, one shot. <laughs> two shots, two shots it took. Well, he's... It's a dark gun, so we can get him... Well, he's gone. He's gone. Uh, access his computer. He's gone and he's dead and I'm left. You need to collect more evidence, 007. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we need to go this way, back this way. Darts. I think I heard something. He thinks Is he heard. There? Despite our recent setback in Hong Kong, our plans will not be disrupted. You must receive and deliver our defective merchandise to Malfrave Industries in Switzerland. He's going to find that dead body and uh, just not do anything. And we need to sneak our way out. I remember this because this was really annoying. Oh, behind that curtain. He didn't even take a shot then. Should have bunny hopped around that corner then. It would have been much quicker. But I just, you know. Run, sprint. <laughs> I don't have sprinting in these games. When you hold the left analog stick down, instead of sprinting, it slows down. 
Let's get those Q specs out again. And we've got Q specs on. Figured that out, didn't we? There is another. There is another door around here, if I remember. Any hot? Oh, shoot. They didn't, they didn't even attempt to. Yes, this is where we find out what the secret room is. Is there another secret room? I thought they lost one round here. We've gone full circle. Let's get the uh, lift. Head downstairs. It's quite revolutionary in 2021 to have a working, working lift that doesn't load. Usually they use lifts to hide stuff that's loading, but obviously this is all loaded in. Uh, we're back here. Oh, no, no, we... He's got in. I don't think we go this way out. Oh yeah, we can do. I'm sure there'll be something behind that British flag. I'm gonna have to load it up again and see. Definitely something behind that British flag. Oh no, I got everything. Got all the all enemies subdued. 007 bonus, zero out of four. I've got the gold medal, which gives me the golden dart gun, maybe? I actually remember this. I, I played quite a bit of this on stream. <laughs> Embarrassing. Oh, I'm not. Uh, couldn't find any save files for it, so I just assumed. I played this quite a bit. I haven't wanted to play these James Bond games for a very long time. Right, take this out. I want to find out what's behind that uh, British flag, so we're going to do that. And then I'm going to end the video, but like, once I'm done, because I'm not ending it, and it's only the, it's the 52 minute mark of this game. Um, right, if you don't hit that like button, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Thanks for sticking around if you've made it this far into the video and you're still here, still watching. If you like this, this type of thing where I just play around, go through some trivia, things that I know, probably get a lot of stuff wrong, but you know, then please come to twitch.tv forward slash Twin Cherry Studio. I'm going to be doing lots of stuff like this uh, over the weekends, probably, or whenever the boys aren't playing. We play Sea of Thieves normally. I'm going to jump shot, jump around this corner. Got your son. Secret here. I swear there's something behind that British flag. Behind one of the there's something behind one of the flags. I remember. The 29th of September, was it the Wales flag? I'm sure it's that British flag. I think it unveils itself at the second half of the game. So let's just uh, we need to get through this. Um, let's try and do this without getting that making any noise. <sighs> Is that impossible? Let's <sighs> take him clean up. Oh, he spotted me through the door. It takes ages for him to shoot, doesn't it? I think that's on purpose so that you don't get caught. Dark gun back out. Shoot the door. And then this guy here. Oh. He's done. And then we need Q specs again. Do we need Q specs? Nah, no, we can just find it if we know where it is. Boom. It's not that intelligent. And then. Sick. Darts. A bit of body armor. We've not been shot, so it doesn't matter. Boom. Nobody's. I can't believe I didn't get a bomb moment for that. The Q claw stuff. <laughs> Hello, madam. I don't know what you're doing here. I'm the new security detail, obviously. We need the password generator, which is in this room. I wonder if we can knock the statue off to make noise. Let me skip this. Yeah, we don't need the gratuitous. Uh, 
no. No, that does not fall off the table. Close that. He's dead. Oh, I missed that shot. Oh, I missed that one. Missed a lot of shots. Got the password generator. Sorry, son. Could swore there was somebody behind that British flag. If he's not, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed in my memory. Despite our recent setback in Hong Kong, our plans will not be disrupted. You yep, must yep, receive yep, and deliver yep, our yep, yep. defective merchandise to Malfrave Industries in Switzerland. Jump on the corner. Headshot. Headshot. You laser. Get cracked at the minute. Should, should try and do a speed one. Let's go. Take the lift, do it. Yeah, we need to take the lift for some reason. Right, can we get the specs out and see if there's like a button or something around here? No. And off we pop. Down the lift. Get that with the music. Down, gone out. Check this corner. Oh no, we're not even in the right spot. On. How do we get there? Q specs out. I think I'm remembering more secret rooms than there actually was. I, I thought it was on there at first. Let's just head back upstairs. Right, 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 right. So if into this room. Why am I remembering something behind that flag? Did I want there to be something behind that flag? I think I'm wrong. Maybe it's a different level? I'm gonna have to Google this. Oh shit. Nope, nope, no, you don't. God. Shit. Ah, right, I'm gonna Google it. What mission are we on? Agents under fire. Ah, secret room. The end of I can sense IGN for you to track my data. Bad diplomacy. Floor where you begin the level, head past the elevator in the room hall, body desk armor. Yeah, we got that one. Door at the end hall is locked, but you search the left side of the left wall, you'll find a hidden door. It's a secret room with some darts and some body armor. Darts in private quarters, head left from the statue room and go inside the closet to find some more darts. Is that it? Yeah, is it? I was wrong. I'm, I'm remembering this wrong. Yep, be quiet. Sound the alarm! Sound the alarm! I think I've run out of lives behind. I think you only get like, yeah, yeah, I've only got one life remaining. Uh, go inside. I think it's called Diplomacy. Game FAQs will tell me. Okay, accept. Enemy characters walk through.
level four. Let's roll up here. Ah, uh, no, there isn't. There isn't. I'm remembering that wrong. Anyway, it's been over an hour now, so uh, we'll, we'll leave that there. I'll continue this this game on stream, starting from the we start from the bottom, and then we get here. Uh, we'll probably try and do as many James Bond games as possible. Maybe over a weekend, we can do like full. Maybe do like a full twenty four hour stream of it. I don't know how long it takes to complete these games. Uh, it used to take ages back in the day, but I'm sure with modern. The way we're playing games now, it'll be a lot easier. So, take care. I've said that before. Remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Like, comment, subscribe, twincherrystudio.com. I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't know why it sounded like that.